So it's now summertime, uh, so everyone gets to enjoy being out in the woods again, uh, a little bit more so than the winter maybe, but here's something to look out for um, that's gonna be in the woods that you really wanna be careful of. Uh, so of course, I'm not touching it with my hands uh, for a reason, this is poison ivy, toxicodendron radicans, um, and so how to identify it. Uh, first of all, it has alternate branching patterns, um, which is important. Um, last month we talked about box elder, which also can have leaves of three, um, but this one, uh, poison ivy, is alternate branching. Um, so it has three leaflets. Um, they have a very raggedy leaf margin. Uh, leaves of three, let it be, is the, is the common saying. Of course, a lot of things have three leaflets, but if you want to play it safe and just don't touch it um, because you think it might be poison ivy, then that's probably prudent. Um, but to me, it, it's the margin is kind of sort of irregular, uh, but there's always these sort of teeth on the outside margins. The rachis is very long, um, and... Uh, uh, sometimes it can be glossy, like shiny looking, but I find that that's not really the case very often. Um, it can really trick people because it has different sort of uh, growth patterns. A lot of times it's a vine climbing up a tree, but a lot of times it's like this where it's just sort of freestanding out of the ground, kind of just looks like a little sapling. Um, I want to compare that to something that's right over here. So this is poison ivy, toxicodendron radicans. This here is Virginia creeper. Um, this is a uh, vine. It kind of has similar sort of raggediness on the leaflets, but it always has uh, leaflets of five, unless there's been, you know, some sort of damage to the plant. Um, but uh, this one, there's no, well, there's Newt. Um, uh, this one doesn't give you a rash or anything. Uh, poison ivy is native, even though it is a nuisance. I get it really bad uh, every year. Newt gives it to me frequently. Um, but um, it is native, and it's actually really valuable for wildlife. Um, it's, uh, I'm sure she's covered in it right now, so now I am. Um, but poison ivy uh, produces berries in the fall um, when birds are migrating south. So it's really, really important uh, food source for our migratory birds. Um, and then it also adds to native insects. Um, and uh, the only thing, uh, the only part of poison ivy that cannot give you a rash is actually the pollen, uh, which is, thank goodness, because otherwise the air would be filled with uh, itchy uh, pollen. Um, but uh, if you come in contact with it, just wash with soap and water uh, as quickly as you can, or at least just rinse off in a stream or something like that. So this is the other form of poison ivy, uh, not just coming up off the ground, but as a vine on a tree. Uh, so you can see this is a tulip poplar here. Um, and so if you were to just look at the first leaves you saw, you might be confused at the identification of this tree because we have these very uh, tulip shaped leaves here, but then these uh, really big uh, leaves of three here. This is poison ivy climbing up and then the branches are coming off laterally. Um, it looks like it's about to start flowering here. Uh, these leaves are so big because they're in shade. Um, typically, we, we actually just call these shade leaves. Um, they're a lot bigger because there's more surface area, more photosynthetic potential. Um, but uh, one way to tell the uh, stem of poison ivy is usually very wooly looking, and that's all the little roots. Um, Toxicodendron radicans, radicans means rooting, um, and so it might be kind of hard to see here without getting uh, into the poison ivy, um, but it has very, very wooly stems um, uh, that, are, that are very distinctive um, compared to other vines. And you can see these very wooly looking uh, roots coming off of the stem. So. It is a completely native plant. Um, a lot of people treat it like it's, um, like it, they call it a weed, but um, that's kind of a human construct. Um, native plant, good for our forests, just try not to touch it. So if you see any bits, but it's a good thing to have in our woods. But definitely something to keep your eyes on. Um, try not to uh, just kind of walk around through the woods. Try to really, really look for these leaves of three um, and be careful for poison ivy.